Lola, I have to ask you something. The Mortician's Club needs one more member or we'll have to break up. Would you join? What? Not interested? Well, thanks anyway. Wait! Believe it or not, there is a heart under all this fabulousness. I have always considered it my personal mission to spread glitter and glamour to every corner of this earth. So yes, I'll join. Yay! Yay. I call this meeting to order. Psst, Lucy, shall we start with a few words from our new member? Oh, I didn't prepare a speech. That's okay, Lola. JK, JK. <clears throat> For as long as she can remember, Lola Loud has been a giver. It all started when... <gasps> well said. Thank you for your words. Oh, hey, whoa! Time to review old business. Dante, how are the club cloaks coming? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Any other old business? Um, yeah, this chill out here is getting old and my business is freezing. We like the bone chilling cold. Actually, it is pretty chilly. He is right. I agree. I say we go back to my place for some yummy rose hip tea. Boris wants yummy tea. Grumble. Now that we're settled, I'll demonstrate funeral makeup techniques. Any volunteers? Me, me. Okay, Boris. <gasps> Sorry. It's just, um, why not add a hint of color for the afterlife? Uh? May I? Nothing's too lively. This will be a total disaster. Voila! Gas. Gas. It's still Boris, only better. Funeral grand be next. Patience, everyone. Uh, Keep chanting your hypnotic shot. spells. <laughs> Lola, this spell doesn't include ribbons. It, up. it doesn't need. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at those frogs. Lola, can you teach us that? And do you have any black ribbons? Oh, sweet. Lola Loud has everything. I knew Lola would take over my club. That dumb school club's act ruined everything. I wish Principal Huggins had never found it. Wait, that gives me an idea. Ha, 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 ha. Lucy, please. Your diabolical laughter is upsetting my unstable isotopes. Ha, 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 ha. Is the wig too much? Not at all. You bring Goth Glam to a whole new level. <laughs> hey there, kids. Principal Huggins, such a surprise. What are you doing here? I found this tape to my computer monitor. Don't know how I missed it before. It's the school club's amendment of 1875. Cancels out the seven-member rule, as you were then. Well, Lola, looks like you don't have to stay in the club anymore. Thank you for your service. Please accept this cloak as our parting gift. Get home safe. Oh, um, okay. Well, I guess I'll be on my way. All right, any old business? I want Lola to stay in the club. I've never felt so fabulous. She really mixed things up. I enjoyed her upbeat presence. But it's too. Never left! I was hoping you'd want me to stay. I'm having such fun, and I've got so many great ideas! Three words, goth beauty pageant! <gasps> Grr, I have to get Lola out before she ruins my club. But how? Demons, get me out of here! That's it. I'll scare her out. Ha 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 ha. Ugh, you know, Lucy, I don't actually believe you can see my future in that cheap hunk of glass. Gasp. I see a pageant. <gasps> Is it Little Miss Sugarbeet? Who wins? Tell me. I see it now. You've just finished the talent portion. Yeah? What, what, what else? They're tabulating scores. The winner is Lindsay Sweetwater. No! Why would you tell me that? Just another great perk of being in the Mortician's Club, having your fortune told every week. Good thing fortunes can be changed. They can? How? 
I just read the new issue of Modern Enchantress. It has a stage fright spell that might come in handy on a certain Miss Sweetwater. Tell me more, sweetie. I might just be Mortician's Club material after all. <laughs> <laughs> Time to dial it up to scare level two. 